Hello there, Gemini, Gemini Rising, and of course, all of you Gemini Moon people out there. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting January 6th, 2019. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or of course, you may also just simply follow the links below. So, what is going on when it comes to your astrology? over the course of this coming week. I do want to say I will be posting a clip from the Patreon mon monthlies talking about the lunar eclipse in Cancer that's going on this week, but that is just going to be a clip. If you do want access to the monthlies, right, December was just a special, you do need to be a part of the Patreon, and again, you can find that information always by following the links in the down bar below. But when it comes to this week, as it relates to this week only, we have got uh, what I've been calling Dances with Neptune going on. The Sun and Mercury, Tuesday and Wednesday respectively, both in Capricorn, which is your eighth house of shared resources, passive income, as well as intimacy, self-employment money, and also ruling your partner or your spouse's income, is actually going to be in a gorgeous sextile to Neptune in your 10th house of career. And it does look like with the Sun and Mercury here, there's something going on where an extra source of revenue is being offered to you. The Sun in your 8th house is talking about something birthed, something coming out that's going to allow a lot of you Gemini people to maybe start making more money outside of maybe options that you already have presented to you but it actually fits in with your schedule, or possibly this is something you're clued into through either a current or former uh, work buddy, colleague, or even boss. We've also got Mercury involved as well, which is really, really good news for people who are aspiring to either be self-employed, go into business for themselves. Something is happening with Neptune where a favor is being done for you or a trade that you make is actually going to be helping you connect with a new source of wealth, whether it's for short term or for long term, that remains to be seen. But it does seem to be providing some very strong material uh, security for a lot of you. This could also be a great week for those of you who are in partnerships where income is shared, whether it's a business partnership or a romantic partnership. Um, this does look like there may also be some news coming from an increase in a partner's pay or an opportunity for that for them to pursue as well. So before we get on to the cards, I do want to layer in another tidbit just in case anyone tries to skip the intros and they're missing something that's helpful to them. If you are having a hard time finding the horoscope that you're looking for, Remember, you can always check the playlists on the main channel page. Either you go to the playlist tab or you can scroll down just after going to the main channel page. And if the directions don't seem to make any sense or we're not sure we're doing it right, I did also put up a little tech support training video about how to go about doing that. And I'll put a link in the down bar below because I don't want a re repeat of what's been going on the last couple of weeks here. That does mean, though, it's now on you. <laughs> so what's going on when it comes to your cards? Well, for your spiritual themes of this week, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. And this is a week where there's no repeats for you either. <laughs> it's all about moving out of cycles, moving away from, you know, history repeating itself. And with the Six of Cups reversed, I'm seeing a lot of you Gemini people having opportunities, yes, to maybe elongate a present circumstance that maybe used to serve a purpose in the past, but it's no longer really doing us any good and needing to be able to kind of say thank you, no thank you. With the Six of Cups reversed, we are stopping something from trying to repeat itself more and more. And one of the things I'm seeing with the Six of Cups reversed is that there's a bit of an awareness that even if we are trying to buy more time or repeat history or do something over again, or maybe even try on um, a social connection or a relationship over again, it's not going to last 
as long as it did before. And it's going to kind of upend itself or capsize a little bit, you know, quicker than we could have expected. And we don't want to just keep repeating and repeating and repeating and having the time between start and finish shrink and shrink. It's time to get away from repetitious history, right? It's a new year. It's time to go on a new route. And this can, doesn't have to necessarily always apply to social connections and friends and relationships and relatives. This can easily have to do with hobbies and habits as well. On the influx, we've actually got the lover's card upright. New commitments popping up for a lot of you Geminis all over. Now, this can indicate commitments that you have to be prepared to be more involved in for extended periods. This may be something that you have to even make official or put on paper. A lot of, a lot of this is focusing on securing win-win connections for a lot of you, whether this is a win-win uh, agreement between friends, business partners, signing new leases for new places to live. Um, this can absolutely talk about opportunities for creating new long-standing agreements that we will be not necessarily bound to, but ultimately responsible for providing that material for so that that partnership or that energy is able to stay afloat, right? It's kind of like we're both taking care of a tree that we planted. They're going to provide the sunlight, you need to provide the water. But what's going to happen here, luckily, is that this will be a mutual win-win should we be okay and make the room to have this new commitment be something we make and keep space for throughout our day-to-day -day lives. When it comes to the outflux, as far as what's going away, we have the Six of Swords in reverse. Not a bad card to see go away because if you've been experiencing delays and things taking off for you, with the Six of Swords reverse, sometimes that can happen, right? We can, you know, plans are changed, rerouted, canceled. Maybe there's something going on where we've been trying really, really hard. We already have committed to the next step. But, or we've, it's, it's an inevitability, but we've maybe been in a situation with people who've been bargaining for more time, or stalling, or procrastinating. So it's almost like being caught, you know, with a, with a flight delay. Luckily, with the Outflux card being the Six of Swords reverse, no more delays are even feasible at this point in time. Whatever's been hanging overhead, or again, adjourned, or, or continued just in perpetuity for however long, is no longer workable. If this has been holding you back from a transition that you need to make, again, especially when it comes to travel, moves, jobs, the Six of Swords reverse is saying, don't worry, whatever's been holding you up is getting out of your way. Or if it's not getting out of your way, at least we have an alternative vehicle, figuratively speaking, that's going to get you there, and we don't have to take the way we thought we were supposed to. When it comes to the bottom row, when it comes to mundane concerns, for your material concerns, we actually have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And again, make sure that we allow ourselves opportunities to see solutions through alternatives this week. The Nine of Swords reverse is indicating, yes, the illusion of delays and procrastination will be there, especially when it comes to anything re regarding uh, monetary transactions or maybe even feedback from interviews, propositions, or motions that you're bringing forward on the job. But the Nine of Swords reverse is also indicating to me, I'm getting a very clear message that everyone is feeling this stress, everyone's kind of feeling this freak out, and the people who are going to make it are the people who don't just sit and affirm, I'm freaking out, right? It's kind of like if you go on somebody's Facebook, it's kind of, can you imagine how people would post if they knew that other people reading it also sent energy to the reality that they just put in text? Maybe they would be a bit more careful. A lot of the times the Nine of Swords reversed, we are actually asked, don't really feed energy into something. Again, look at the delay card going away. If somebody says this can't be done right now, yes, it's okay to go over somebody's head. It is okay to look for a back door. In fact, with the Nine of Swords reversed, we are seeing that here. In fact, when it comes to money and when it comes to just material wealth in general, the Nine of Swords reverse is indicating 
we may actually find out that either a recent or maybe even something going on this week, uh, a proposition or shift that is not exactly what we want to see is totally negotiable and negatable so long as we make sure that we follow through with contesting what is being put on the table for us, okay? It will be all right. When it comes to the external, when it comes to friends, your social life, and other people, we've got the Page of Wands, and it's upright. And it does look like an invitation, yes, is being thrown your way. But this is somebody who is, I'm not sure if it's like they're taking you under their wing, or they're offering to kind of bring you into their secret club, or they're offering you into their uh, a space in their space. But what's happening here with the Page of Wands, I just see somebody kind of um, pulling you in, and somehow being a part of that group or a part of that circle proves to be quite advantageous. They may be doing a hookup here of some kind. Maybe it's a romantic hookup. Maybe it's something to help you out when it comes to what we've seen over here, getting rid of um, you know past issues. Maybe you're looking forward to something, but you have to be able to also handle a few steps in between. When I see the Page of Wands upright, I often see somebody who has what we're looking for, or they will give us either the stopgap or the stopgap and the solution at the same time. When we get to relationships with romance and love, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And it does appear that when it comes to uh, love, I get this feeling like you and a partner are both going to be coming face to face with either an issue or maybe something going on that neither of us have been given proper tools for, that we've not been prepared for when it comes to either the relationship, something going on in the household. I'm not sure if this is something that literally is just out of our purview, right? I mean, I'm not an electrician. I could not rewire this house, right? Uh, but I don't think it's going to be something like that. The Queen of Pentacles reversed is actually indicating here you and a partner are maybe coming face to face with maybe a common challenge that you've both had to deal with when it comes to family uh, or upbringing or culture. And we are actually seeing it living out or playing out in our relationship this week. And if we do our due diligence in not trying to make it work and actually expunging it, dissolving it, then we are going to know a real evolution in this relationship, which leads to, again, that very powerful commitment, lover's card upright kind of energy. But it is a bit of a test because, you know, sometimes we don't know when maybe something not so great that has been passed down through our families, right? We don't know what we might have. It's like, oh my goodness, that was, that was a bad habit or a bad mentality or some kind of dysfunctional or distorted worldview or philosophy that was inherited from grandma's side of the family or that's how grandpa raised everyone, so that went down to dad, so it went down to me. This is a week with the Queen of Pentacles reversed where we're seeing, well, part of being an adult means also being, giving ourselves the options to choose whether or not that's actually worth embracing. It's actually not worth embracing in this case. In fact, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, we might even be seeing where uh, we have to confront either within ourselves or within a partner uh, a place where a person never really got to grow up. And that might be a tremendous healing opportunity, though very difficult in the beginning to confront. For new people and new romance this week, again, much of the same flavors are coming out, and it's a tough space to be in. It's not a good idea to start a relationship with the intention of personal healing. I've never, ever done a reading for somebody who had success in having a relationship for the sake of a healing journey uh, and holding space and all of that, because it kind of turns the other person into an object. Don't let yourself turn into an object. If a person's not ready to be in a relationship, no matter how hot they make you, <laughs> you might have to be the responsible person and go, this needs some time. So that's your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all know I appreciate it. And if you ever wish to get a session, just go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.